All right, guys, Jonathan here with Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. I just want to go over with you uh, the proper way to install Trex Rain Escape. All right, these right here are called the troughs. Um, and these over here are called the downspouts. Now, these are already in. Uh, on this deck particularly here, the homeowner was wanting to hopefully just try to replace just the decking on it and keep everything else. But unfortunately, if you reference our other two videos, you'll see why we had to replace all this Trex Rain Escape. Um, due to some major rot issues over here showing us that this old stuff was failing and just going to keep rotting this whole deck away so we got to go through and tear it off and redo it all so um, the best way to do it is we're able to tear off the whole deck and restart from scratch and go that way then we can really get this rain escape in really well but for right now if we were to do this uh, from the beginning you would have this rolled up on top of the ledger board up onto the house and then we would tape it so that any water would come down here and go down. And they actually, on the original one, they actually did that underneath here. You can maybe kind of see how they did that. They got this up and it comes up here and then the flashing goes over it. So what we're doing is putting this underneath the old stuff up tight to the house. And that prevents any type of leaking. And say if you already have flashing in here, you can take this and go just tight, push it in tight to the house. So we're doing is doing that, getting it in there, getting it tight to the house. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here real quick. And the key is to make sure that you get it up high enough and make sure that it is all the way back there. Because if it's not all the way back there, what would happen is it will start to bow in the middle back and the water will actually run back and leak back. So we're not waterproofing. So when we're doing this Trex rain escape, you have to be thinking like a roofer and be thinking where the water's going and how it's going. As I put my hand under here, I can see, I can feel that I'm all the way tight back up against that house. So I know that I'm good and secure. And the next thing we like to try to do is try to roll it out, feel where this other joist is, and roll it out and try to get it as square as we can, following it all the way back, all right? And then we got this Trex rain escape, uh, the drainage system, it's actually butyl caulk. It's great stuff, so we get this all the way back in here. I restarted and we bring it out. And I just like to bring it out a little bit at first. Just to go ahead, make sure again, I like to just double check my square where I'm at. Make sure I'm back under here all the way. So everything's nice and good. And I put a couple circles. And then on this side, I like to kind of push the middle down a little bit, just a little bit. And then put some staples in there. And then what we're gonna do is just keep Keep talking all the way back. Just take about two or three steps back, put it down, roll this out. See, I'm getting a little bit off. Keep going all the way down. All right, now that we got it all the way down, all the way down this whole joist here. I like to come, we got rain escape that we're gonna put on this side later to come down and catch all this down that way. What we wanna do is try to, you can see that these are 12 foot long. So we wanna cut about roughly back here and we'll come back and trim it up a little bit later. I like to always make sure I leave enough to work with. When we cut it too short, I left my uh, rain escape grower at home so I can't grow it, but I can always cut it a little shorter. Once we get that in there, we'll take this end and kind of pull on it and get those tweaks out of it and bring this down. Bring this down right here so you can see where if you can see where all the way down here, the middle part is roughly the lowest part. So see how there it's more on that side. So we want to try to make sure we get it so the middle is right where it needs to be. Try to get all those cranks out. And then I just put one or two staples right there just to hold it and I come back here. Get these cranks out here. Pull it in, just like that. Push it a little down, because we want any rain coming here, we want it to come down this way. So we want to start that pitch there and just work our way down. There 
you go. There you have it. You can look all the way down. You can see this slowly brings it, drains it all the way down. And I'll come back here and trim it. Trim this back a little bit. And then right here in the middle, make two slits and push that down. So any water that comes here, it trickles here and drips down. If we don't do that, you have a chance for the water to come and soak back that way and get back in there. So we want to do that to make sure the water drips down. And once we get that all done, you can see I got some tape on top. The tape is very important. If you reference my last video, they didn't have tape on all that old stuff. So this tape is very important to keep that water from getting in. So what we do for the tape, same thing, pretty much you want to make sure we get it way back in there, all the way at the start of the house. So we just unrolled a little bit. This is a Trex uh, Rain Escape Butyl Tape, super sticky. So I'm gonna lift up, get it as far back in there as you can, all the way to the house, to the ledger. Kind of get that down and then, again, I like to kind of roll it out, make sure I'm going square before I start pulling too much. All right, and once I get square, I start to pull the tape. All right, and once I pull the tape, I just do little sections at a time. I put my fingers in the middle, kind of tight right here, just like that. And see how my tape, see where the seam is? I got my tape right in the middle. That's what we want, we want to try to have no bubbles in it. So we just go a little bit at a time to be able to make that happen. All the way down. And what we're gonna do, Bring that all the way down. Make sure that seal's really good. And you can see some examples I've already done. Bringing them all the way down. If you have a, if you like these pages or these videos and they're, they're doing well for you, please like and subscribe uh, the deck answers or also on our Facebook page at Covers and Decks. And remember, if you have any questions, the deck answers.